Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. So this is still an issue for T-Mobile and its customers. So we have a report here. I will leave the article in the description so you guys can check it out. Residents report more T-Mobile service issues in the Broadway area. So this seems to be in Virginia, if I if I saw that correctly. And customers are are experiencing issues. They can they can receive calls, but they can't make outbound calls. And that tells me overall the service is, 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 is iffy, right? If you can't make an outbound call, that likely means data isn't there or it's intermittent. Um, probably texting isn't, is probably a little bit more reliable, but probably still ha having some issues there too. So that's still an issue for T-Mobile. As they upgrade and still in finishing the integration of the network, they haven't, the, the engineering team of T-Mobiles, they haven't done it the best, right? So in some cases, they just literally turn off the site, upgrade, and then turn it back on. But during that time, it, you know, customers are having a having real bad issues while that is ongoing. Whereas Verizon and AT&T, when they do that, they do that very different. And the customers there, they don't have those those intermittent issues. But with T-Mobile, they still haven't learned. You know, I'm getting reports of this happening in Florida and other parts, too. They're touching these Sprint keep sites that where previously only Sprint provided service, not T-Mobile native. And they're just turning the Sprint site off while they upgrade it. So that's that's going to lead to service issues. In some cases, it, it literally leads to no service at all during that time. And it is a huge inconvenience. And to not have no service for even an hour or two is is an insane mistake that could probably lead to the customer base leaving in that area so that is that's just my take on this that's kind of um what i'm sensing happened here this is probably a sprint conversion where they just turned that tower off they're upgrading several towers according to t-mobile's engineering team in the article and they said that the service interruptions should stop as they complete the upgrade which is true that you that's usually what happens but during the upgrade there shouldn't be such bad issues that lead to the issues that these customers are dealing with so make sure you guys stay tuned to the channel like share subscribe follow my social media outlets this is tyrone with tech live see y'all in the next one peace